Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will show up to me the five greatest queen sacrifices in chess history. Uh, exactly where uh, these uh, positions will be interesting, I will stop my video and it will be up to you if you are able to watch the winning moves. So let's start and I hope you will enjoy this video. First example, it's nearly 400 years old, so this is a chess history and the first example. So right now everything looks okay and maybe black is not in big danger till now because right now black played move f5 you know to play move f5 is a terrible mistake because the weakest square usually is on f7 say f2 square and right now this is a nearly losing move okay white is taking on f5 and he doesn't mind to lose a pawn on g2 and rook on h1 so it's up to you the first time first chance to solve this puzzle what's going on if black is taking on g2 and this is important question because of course black took on g2 and he is lost so i hope that you saw check on h5 of course it's nearly checkmate and it will be checkmate after move g6 uh, white is taking knight to f6 and white's queen is under attack so our goal is to sacrifice this queen and to win this position. So take two seconds and I hope you will see the winning white combination. Of course, well done. That's a chess beauty and that was your first chance to solve this puzzle. Check or checkmate. Of course, uh, black is winning queen and he's losing a king because black's king is checkmated. That was nice. I hope you agree and let's go for another example. So this example is coming uh, from 1840 and let's watch this position because of course opening nothing special. Maybe, maybe not bad position at all right now because say both players are playing good chess. Knight to d5, I am not sure. I think that the basic chess rules Mm, are speaking about mm, just go for castle position and bring your pieces to game but never mind uh, we are going forward knight to d4 and knight is taking on e5 so that's another queen sacrifice i think this is a great so it's up to you right now stop this video and uh, check this variation of course black will take on d1 this queen so i hope you are able to spot this variation till end. This could be a good tactical training. I hope you found it, this variation. Black is the king on d1. Check on f6, looks really nice. And of course, nothing else than checkmate on f7. And it was for a second time checkmate on f7. That's a proof that f7 square is the weaker square. In a black territory, f2 should be in a white territory. So be careful and don't lose your f2 or f7 square. Okay, another example. I hope you will enjoy this video. So feel free and press like and press follow and made my day. Richard Reti, of course, famous Czech um, or Czechoslovakian player in history. And uh, this game was played in 1910 in Vienna. So, okay, nothing special. We are we are watching still some kind of um, theory and e5 okay he took check on a5 and after long castle everything is going to be interesting so black took on e4 and it's up to you to stop now this video and found uh, winning moves or winning combination for white take your time take it easy and just go on it's nice Check on d8. It's a beautiful checkmate, of course. Black has no other chance to take the screen. As a check here, okay, it's two checks, just to be honest, from the rook and from the bishop. So nothing else to do because if uh, black is going here, of course, it's checkmate immediately. So black is going to c7. Nothing is going to help him because he's checkmated. And that was amazing checkmate from Richard Reti. Chess is a beautiful game. And you know, chess beauty, it's 
amazing amazing sugar for chess player okay another example and uh, this is alexander alehin uh, 1931 so let's start okay french defense still everything looks normal maybe and we are going forward so bishop to d3 b6 and it's up to you right now to stop this video for a few seconds and ask yourself how why did he win this game? At least he will win a pawn, or maybe he will win a game. So the winning move, one, two, three, white is taking on a6. Wow, that's nice. You know, I hope you agree because this is a checkmate. If not immediately, it's here. Another checkmate on f7, follow f7 diagonal, and checkmate from g6 bishop. And that was another chess beauty so let's go for the last one and last one uh, or maybe the last one okay uh, 1935 and because black is winning i'm going to switch the chessboard from the black point of view so okay we are playing nothing special maybe e5 so black is pulled down but uh, he has two pieces in the game so that's um, that's going to be sharp position and right now Let's go and let's find how to win this game because Black will sacrifice his queen again. So he took on e4. And now check this variation till end, please. Because this could be a good tactical chess training and I hope you will enjoy it. So, okay, check here and checkmate. It was not hard. I hope that you agree that um, it was. Cool. It was fast, it was cool, and maybe we enjoyed So the last one is uh, Wesley So and Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen is a black, so let's go there. And because this could be a longer chess story, we will be faster. So, okay, just we are moving, moving, moving. Nothing special. Of course, this is a theory, this is video how to sacrifice queen. So we have to be in the right position in the right time. So, okay. Still, this is interesting, nothing special. Okay, okay, so we are going nearly there. And we are in the position bishop to c5. And after here, maybe, maybe this position looks like, oh, black is under terrible attack or black is passive but right now my advice is to stop this video for the last time and check this variation what's going on if black is taking a look on d1 so maybe take five or ten seconds and do your best to find the winning combination at the end okay it's not hard of course black took is a check here is a check here and what to do if you are going here is a checkmate and if you are going to f3, I hope you saw this fork. And at the end, of course, uh, there's nothing to play because uh, white lost uh, too much material. And of course, he lost the game at the end. So we are at the end of this video. We saw five or six, maybe the most exciting chess queen's sacrifices. I hope you solved as many puzzles as you can. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So if yes, feel free and press like and made my day and follow our YouTube chess channel. Give us energy and stay by us. Okay, thank you very much for your time, thank you very much for your attention, likes, follows, and I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Thank you, see you soon, take care, bye bye.